Welcome to the morning session of the Synchronized Global Prayer. I got very involved with my previous session on Nadi Shodhan, Nadi Shuddhi and got so universalized that I forgot time because the universe is only the present moment, the now. And so I didn't realize the time. Apologize for that. Let's go straight into the drama. Mm-hmm. 
Sitting quietly, contemplate the after effects of the practice of the Brahmari as the beautiful vibrations flow throughout your very being. Feel the beautiful sense of inner harmony. That inner state of wellness and stability that manifests through the practice of this Samyama practice, a Samyama Pranayama, another or Swara Pranayama. The Brahmari enabling an inner stability, an inner sense of balance and harmony and ease. A sense of wholesomeness, integrativeness and bliss. A state of being where we transcend a limited individuality and become a much greater universality at that moment. All the components of who we are come together harmoniously in a balanced, integrated manner. enabling us to be one, enabling us to be our own self and to be established in that state of oneness, Swarupe Abhasthanam. A very beautiful state described by the great Adi Shankara in his Dasha Sloki with the concluding verse of each of the ten verses having the resonance of this. Tadeko Vashishta Shiva Kevalo Tad Eka That oneness Tadeko Vashishta, in that experience of oneness, we realize Shiva Kevaloham, we are that auspiciousness, we are that pure, universal, undivided state of oneness. Moving your fingers, wiggling your body a bit to come out of this beautiful state. I always feel bad to come out of it and to pull you out of it. It's just such a beautiful state. One of these days we'll just stay there for a bit longer, but we have other things to do here, including the Sankalpa. So rub your palms, generate a nice warm, placing the warmth over the eyes, the forehead and the head. I was asked yesterday the importance of Brahmari with relation to the Sankalpa we make, that aspirational statement which we are making. And the answer is that if your aspirational statement is to produce the effect it is intended, if your Sankalpa is to manifest in reality, that Sankalpa must be made from a place of stability. And that is why it is very essential that by practicing 27 rounds of the Brahmari, we are inducing from within or educing, inducing sounds like it's come from outside, educing from within, a beautiful sense of harmonious balance, a sense of ease. And when you have that state of ease, that sukham, when you have stability and balance, 
and based on that you make a sankalpa an aspirational statement that statement will have much more chances of manifesting as a reality but when you are deluded which most people are most people have delusional psychosis on this planet all the time it's permanent state of being if we are deluded if we are muddled up if we are imbalanced if we are emotionally volatile and we have an aspirational statement that statement never goes any place because it has not taken off in the proper way at all it is like you know have you ever tried to shoot a target when you are imbalanced very very tough you first need to be balanced before you can shoot the target and shoot doesn't mean with a gun or an arrow it can be even with a camera huh? if you want to take a good photo you have to be in a stable position if you know you are moving here there and every place your photo will be blurred the manifestation what is the manifestation is the photo it is going to be blurred because it is a reflection of what was your state of being so if our sankalpa is going to manifest in its totality it is important we are in a stable place and that is why the brahmari induces that let's bring our hands together over the head for the aspirational statement the sankalpa with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 with all our collective power of peace we overcome covid 19 a beautiful sankalpa of overcoming the challenge but overcoming the challenge doesn't mean escaping from it it means facing it what is the biggest challenge we need to face here is that we need to face ourselves and we have to ask ourselves individually and collectively whether we as a human race have actually been the best we that we can be that is when the transformation can start and that is why we need to cheer on and express our gratitude our appreciation our respect yesterday there was a very beautiful image that came up on my news feed of a member of the legislative assembly in pondicherry an elected people's representative who actually bent down to touch the feet of the medical personnel who were doing the duty in his area i think this is this is just amazing i tell you see you can call it a political stunt you can call it stage you can call it anything but even that expression is so important because so many people are out there putting their lives on risk for all of us let us at least be grateful to, for them let us send a heartfelt prayer for their safety and let us let them know that we are on their side cheering them on let us conclude with the shanti mantra today and just to remind those who are not on the other session this evening at 6:30 to 7:30 pm Indian standard time i will be sharing a conversation on the traditions of yoga with my dear yoga brother kaustub deshikachar and you are going to have a hilarious comedy show a double stand up comedy show because both of us are mad and mad in a good way so looking forward to a wonderful time with so many of you om लोक समस्त सुखिनो जना सुखिनो ओम शांति शांति 
शांति ही ओ and i think i see mugs from canada the soya group there online uh, thank you mugs for a beautiful memory that came up on facebook today of our time together 4 years ago it's always such a pleasure to be with my yoga family in so many parts of the world love you all dearly be safe be happy be healthy and be blessed hari om tat sat